welcome to another DVD and Blu-ray collection video here on Still Image Productions and this is episode number seven, isn't it Cheryl? It is, yeah. And today's, today's video is all about, if you look at the floor, it's my, my Wrestlemania collection. Yes, I believe I have every single Wrestlemania here from one to, I've lost count how many we are on now, I think it's 30, 33 I think. I think it is, I think it's better three. well we'll find out as we go along. <laughs> well, WrestleMania, when it got first released in the UK, was available on VHS. And because those videos are now obsolete, they've disappeared. So, to make that up, Silvervision bought out the WrestleMania Anthology box set. I only have three of them, but I would love to have the actual box. As you can see... We have Wrestlemania Volume 1. This covers Wrestlemania 1 to 5 from 1985 to 1989. And as we open this up, as you can see, the box is starting to get a bit damaged from wear and tear now because this was released back in 2005, would you believe? So it's 12 years ago. And Wrestlemania 1 to 5, as you can see, as I open it up. You can see Hulk Hogan when he was a lot younger. Uh, you got Mr. T there, you got Mr. Fuji, uh, King Kong Bundy down there, uh, Big John Studd and Andre the Giant in the, uh, that slam match they had for some money, if you remember what that was. You got Terry Funk and, and um, oh, what was his name? I can't remember. Anyway, as you can see, you got inside, you got WrestleMania 1. Which is uh, got Tito Santana versus the Executioner, SD Jones versus King Kong Bundy, uh, Matt Bourne versus Ricky Steamboat, David San Martino versus Brutus Beefcake, uh, Intercontinental Title Match of Greg the Hammer Valentine, it was Junkyard Dog, uh, WD Tag Team Match of the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov versus, versus Barry Windham and Mike Rotondo. And then the $15,000 slam match, Big John Stud versus Andre the Giant. Women's Championship match, Lilani Kai versus Wendy Richter. And Hulk Hogan and Mr. T versus Roddy Piper and Paul Wandorf. I won't read all this because it will take forever, but we'll show you all the DVDs and what's inside them. As you can see, if I lay it down on the floor, it'll be a lot easier. We've got WrestleMania 1, WrestleMania 2, WrestleMania 3. WrestleMania 4 is on two discs because that was a it was for a title tournament and for the first time ever in the UK the whole shebang was released on DVD that's why it's covering two discs and uh, WrestleMania 5 as well because on the VHS tapes these were edited down these are the full pay-per-view event as it was broadcast that's why it's on double disc. I was going to say why it's on two discs for. Yeah, because the old VHS, VHS tapes were all edited down. And as you can see, we've got the old inlay sleeve here. That's the box I do want to get, like that. But that that thing is so costly now on eBay, it's unreal. And uh, an inlay sleeve for this one. That's good. And you can see Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. So that's the first volume. And that's what it looks like. That's good, isn't it? That is. Yeah. Back up. Back in there. Like that. Right, and now we have volume two of the uh, WrestleMania anthology. This is coveraging 1990 to 1995. This was around the time when me and Cheryl really started to become wrestling fans, wasn't it? Yeah. Were you a fan around 1990? I think so. Yeah. Remember the days of um, Papa Shanga and all that lot and stuff? Yeah, around, around that period, as you can see. Getting a bit of a damage to the box again. And this one is a bit more thicker because it contains a bit more in it. As you can see, you know, oh. Andre the Giant and Bobby Heenan, who recently died. You've got the late Owen Hart there. So it's quite sad, really, to think most of these wrestlers we grew up with and now it's all razor and moon yeah it's like you and Shawn michaels there i can see yeah uh, where what there yeah yeah that's at wrestlemania 9. you got lex luger and yokozuna 
and then we turn it over. This is WrestleMania's six, six to what was it? Six to six to eleven. This was, as you can see. The order with the. Let's put this one on the floor as well. There you go. As you can see, this one's a bit bigger. WrestleMania six is on two discs again. That's because it's the full event. Same with seven. Uh, so WrestleMania eight, WrestleMania nine, WrestleMania ten, and WrestleMania eleven, and also contains the Indy sleeve. You see the Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania six. I'll never forget that. As you can see, those old posters there. Look good, didn't they? Yeah, remember these days. Days of interest. That's what they it said was. WrestleMania has been to the greatest cities in the world. It's never been ever into the UK, has it? Afraid not. It's just been, you know, it's just been Canada, into Canada and into America, hasn't it? Really? But there's someone that can't bring it hit over here to the UK. Oh, and also pe people can see that's Pepper and Rabbit just there. No excuse really for them not to bring WrestleMania over here because they've got the WWE Network now and basically it can be broadcast at the same time in the States. So mm. it's just silly now. It's not like days gone by when there never used to be no internet. Well, that's WrestleMania's 6 to 11. Right, now we've got Volume 3, which covers WrestleMania's 12 to 17. I think Cheryl remembers what happened at WrestleMania 12. Oh yeah, with Shawn Michaels, yes, definitely. It involves Shawn Michaels. You remember when Shawn Michaels was up on the uh, thing and he comes kind of zooming down, down, yeah, and he landed into the ring. And that's one of my favourite WrestleMania moments, that one is. Yeah, this, he was quite high up in the air they're doing there. Yeah, this is WrestleMania's 12 to 17. And as you can see, this is more into the day when we were watching it like crazy. Bret Hart. Stone Cold with blood over his face. You never forget that. That was the start of him. And you got a very young Rocky Maivia. Rocky Maivia at the time. Was that Ken it? Shamrock. Owen Hart and the British Bulldog. Two another two guys died. Undertaker's okay. just recently retired, we think. <laughs> you got Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels there in the Iron Man match. Uh, that looks like mankind being stretched off. Uh, you got Shawn Michaels and Stone Cold at WrestleMania 14. That's a ladder match there, look, as well. And uh, down here you've got Goldust and Roddy Piper in the, uh, when they were fighting in the uh, parking lot, I think it was, I remember, at WrestleMania 12. And then if I lay this one down on the floor, as you can see, you don't ever see this anymore from Fremantle, do you? Stuff like this. You don't. That's one thing I noticed with Fremantle. They are a bit laxy daisy on their artwork, aren't they, compared to what Silver Vision used to be. Yeah, as you can see, you've got WrestleMania's 12 with the Iron Man match. Just get the old end of sleeve out. WrestleMania 13. 13, when Stone Cold faced Bret Hart. WrestleMania 14 was when Stone Cold won the W title for the first time. 15 is when Stone Cold faced The Rock. And then WrestleMania, WrestleMania 16 and 17. You remember at 16 we had the uh, four cornered McMahons. You remember? I remember. So what, which one was um, Mike Tyson in? Mike Tyson was in WrestleMania 14. WrestleMania when, 14. When refereed the match of Stone Cold, Cold and Shawn Michaels. Doing Michaels. Do it next year. Yeah. And uh, WrestleMania, two, WrestleMania 16 and 17. As you can see, they had the full pay-per-view event again because of the coverage in two discs. But the only issue with these later ones is because they had the old Scratch WF logo and because of the problem they had with the World Wildlife Fund, uh, there was a lot of blurring going on on these discs, if you remember. Oh yeah, because you see these ones, these ones have the Scratch logo on these ones, don't know these ones have. Yeah, but as you watch the actual event on the Duda, it's got the old WF logo, which is all blurred out. Is it? Okay. Mm. Number three. No, you haven't got, you, you say you haven't got volume four, have you? I haven't got volume four. Be nice, we'd boxes. love that. And now I'm going back to the older releases from Silver Vision, which incorporated the old WDF logo, as you can see. These ones are very rare to find now, so these are not leaving my collection for the world. But as you can see up there, I would love to have them somewhere properly because they just. You've got a few more there, haven't you? They don't look right up there, do they? You don't, and then you've also got a few just more there. The space for them all. And there's a few more there. No doubt when you get the time you will do a full collection update when you get the when you get yeah, the time. I want them all together on the shelf. Oh they do. Well back to this one. This is the real WrestleMania 15 release. This is the first 
ever DVD Silver Vision ever bought out of WWF. As you can see, Raging Climax, WrestleMania 15. This is not even not blurred at all. This is the full version. And if Cheryl looks at the match listing on the back, because I ain't reading it out. That's it. That's it. And then on the inside, we've got the disc when they used to be produced in the old NTSC format. This is the first ever DVD release ever. And uh, as you can see, the old enemy sleeve. There you go. So that's one thing, these are WWE. Leaves like this a picture, not like Disney, they're playing blue boring discs. Yeah, but it'd be nice for WWE to bring out like complete box sets of events now. Mm. They'd do special editions where they could like bring out a complete box of all the WrestleManias on Blu ray. Because yeah. I know, I know there is ones you brought you on Saturday, they got the two pay per views on, on one disc, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Which seems a bit silly, really. It's good in a way because you're paying for, because you only pay nine ninety nine for the uh network it's like you know figures it out exactly right next we've got wrestlemania 16 this was the turn of the millennium in 2000 when we had four mcmahons in each corner of triple h the rock big show and mick foley as you can see that we all remember this one and uh, this one is a double disc as you can see because for some apparent reason at the time they did a thing on pay-per-view where Wrestlemania did an all-day thing where they showed exclusive history from all 15 Wrestlemanias and something else. It was just an all-day event on Mac then. As you can see with this one and two. These are the days before the Hall of Fame was put on to the Wrestlemania set. And as you can see, you can see that there. And then the artwork in the back. And then the in the sleeve, see the front and there. What they used to like about Silver Vision, they used to put the effort into their releases. I don't know if it was WWE telling them how to produce them, but you know you just don't see that now from Fremantle, do you? You don't, do you? You really don't. They're plain dull and boring, aren't they? The new ones. Yeah, uh, not being nasty. The network is good because. You know, you can just find anything on there and watch it, but you just got to make sure you just got a stable internet connection. As, but as There's you know, nothing. The, as you know on the vlogs, that's not really happening at the moment. You say about the network, though, if they haven't got their WWE for Manias on there, they will go with Top Hat and Gale. You just have to admit that. No. They're yeah. not on there. WWE, if you're listening on this, uh, you know, put WWF Mania on there. Put All American Wrestling on there. Put Wrestling Challenge on there, and even put a few more prime time wrestlings on there as well. Is Saturday Night's Main Event on there? I haven't seen that yeah, on there for Saturday, a while. Saturday Night's Main Event's on there, all of them are on there. But those little ones, you know, you want on there. Yeah. Even the early episodes of Superstars are not even on there either. All oh, right, I thought they might have been. No, they're not on there. So there's still a lot they need to put on there, but it all depends how good their videotape is now. Their video library. Yeah. Right, that's WrestleMania 16. Right, next we've got WrestleMania 17 from Houston, Texas. This is the one where, just before this, uh, WWE finally bought WCW. And uh, this was the one where Shane McMahon faced Mr. McMahon in a match, if we remember that one. I don't know if you remember that one, do you, Cheryl? Yeah, it rings at... Shane bought WCW. Yeah, that was one thing I thought one would have been nice, so if... That they kept it as two separate companies, you know what I mean? Rather than probably yeah, give WCW. They did, they did that thing with ECW for a while, didn't they? They but did, they just, uh, didn't work. Don't work. Right, this is WrestleMania 17, can you see that? Oh. And uh, as you can see, there's the Emmy Steve with the rock in Stone Cold above the uh, Astrodome at the time. There you go, there's the. This is the way I used to like things with DVDs, is when you used to have the separate Emmy Sleeve. But nowadays they just they're printed the, on the inside. Stick all the match listings inside the sleeve, or actually on the disc. On another it's day, just, you know, pointless because the DVD sets are still coming with these flaps. You know, what's the point? Exactly. There you go. This is a double disc set again. As you can see, it's disc one and it's disc two. And on here, on disc two, you just got you know histories of what led up to each match, and uh, you got some. Footage from, remember Sunday Night Heat? I remember Sunday Night Heat, yeah. yeah Sunday Night Heat. 
that's when all the um they used to get like all their try all their tryouts not on there didn't they and stuff yeah this is wrestlemania so we've got wrestlemania 18 from march 17th 2002 another silver vision release as you can see this was the one where do you remember when chris jericho was managed by stephanie mcmahon Remember what? after Triple H came back and she pretended she was pregnant. And oh yeah, I remember and, that. Yeah. And then she, and then he dumped her on on screen. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, this is WrestleMania 18. This was where Hulk Hogan's come back against The Rock, and this was after they had that little spout of the NWO in, in there. Um, I remember that. Yeah. This was the one after when Hulk Hogan finally become you know good again. Uh, on here you got Jericho versus Triple H. Uh, do you remember Jazz versus Lita? Kind of I can remember. I don't know if I can remember Jazz. Uh, Jazz versus Lita versus Trish Stratus. The Rock versus Hulk Hogan. And Billy and Chuck. I remember Billy and Chuck. Versus the Hardy Boys. The they, used, they had that gay boy music, didn't they? Yeah, you look so good to me. Uh, the Hardy Boys, the APA. Oh yeah, with Freak of Bre Bre Brescia. And the Dudley Boys. And we uh, got Stone Cold versus Scott Hall, uh, Edge versus Booker T, uh, Ric Flair versus The Undertaker. This was where Undertaker was playing his biker gimmick. I liked him when he was in his rolling, rolling, rolling days. Uh, Kane versus Kurt Angle. Did mm. uh, do Gold Dust versus Maven? Who remembers Maven? What happened to Maven anyway? Nice thought what's happened to Maven. He won tough enough in 2001. I'd love to know what's happened to him. Uh, Diamond Dallas Page versus Christian. And uh, William Regal versus Rob Van Dam. So if we open this one up again, this is a another double disc set. Once again, this is before Hall of Fames were featured on these sets. Uh, let's get the Indy sleeve out. As you can see, you've got Hulk Hogan mm -hmm. and the Rock there. Oh, yeah. This is Icon. And you've got a poster. That's good. And all you old buffs out there, that this one was bought at Woolworths. Oh, Woolworths. Oh, who remembers saw Woolworths, eh? God bless you. And that's WrestleMania 18. Ready? Yeah. WrestleMania 19 now, March 30th, 2003. This is Hulk Hogan versus Mr. McMahon. And this was the last ever pay-per-view for Stone Cold Steve Austin as a wrestler. This is the one where he passed the torch to the rock, did we say? Uh, this is the one with... The championship match of Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar. That was a good one. Uh, as I said, Hogan versus Mr. M Mr. McMahon. Triple H versus Booker T. Shawn Michaels versus Chris Jericho. This is the one where Jericho got a bit jealous of Shawn Michaels. Do you remember that? I remember that one, yeah. Uh, and then you got a triple threat tag team championship match of... Remember Charlie Haas? Isn't that... Charlie Haas? He's Charlie's Haas. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Shelton Benjamin, do you remember him? I'm Shelton Benjamin, yeah. yeah. Eddie and Charlotte Guerrero. Mm. And Chris Benoit and Rhino. Uh, you got Victoria, remember? remember? Yeah, I remember Victoria. Yeah. She did tough enough for a while, didn't she? Yeah, against Trish Stratus and Jazz. Uh, Undertaker versus Big Show. Uh, Matt Hardy with Shannon Moore. <laughs> you remember Shannon Moore, don't you? Yeah, he was in WCW for a while, wasn't he? Versus Rey Mysterio. And as again, it's another double disc. And this one features, this one still doesn't feature uh, any of the Hall of Fame, but as you can see, there's the special sleeve there and the chapters. And on one of the on special features on here, it includes the night after where Goldberg made his first time ever appearance in WWE. Mm. It's WrestleMania 19. Wasn't that the one where um, Stone Cold had that mini heart attack before the night before or something? Was that the one? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, this is the one which has got the. Uh, uh, no, that, that appears. Yeah, that, that is the event, yeah, before then, but you don't actually get to hear about that until. Afterwards. Until the release of WrestleMania 20. No. Because on here, this features the mania of WrestleMania. It's a 45 minute film chronicling the lives of the superstars leading up to WrestleMania 19. That is a good documentary, that one. As you can see, Silver Vision went to a, like, pull out sleeve to my WrestleMania release for this one. And I don't know, because I've done it before, Cheryl wants to go up there, you can see that special WrestleMania 20 
That one in that box. box. I have done a video on that before if you want to check that one out. That's a nice box that is, isn't it? Yeah. Those are a nice box. Uh, WrestleMania 20, this is the same set release as is in that box up there, but that one is sealed. This is WrestleMania 20 from 2004, and as you can see, it features the WrestleMania timeline on the back. As you can see, from 1985 to 2004 at the time. And this one is a three disc set. And this one ran for nearly five hours. It's got a prox running time of 454 minutes. And as you can see, the in your sleeve. And this was the first year where the Hall of Fame was released on DVD, but at the time it was released as a separate release. I have it up there somewhere. It's WrestleMania 20. And now we move on to WrestleMania 21. All right, next one, a year later, WrestleMania 21, April 3rd, 2005. Triple H versus Batista. Not like we've seen that before. And this is the first ever release which features the Hall of Fame. It's WrestleMania 21, as you can see, who was featured on that. All right. Yeah, yeah, got it, yeah. Isn't this the good Hollywood? Isn't that one where they did all those silly um? Oh, this is the one. Yeah, this is the one where they did all those like movie movie parodies. Because I remember, wasn't um Stan Cold did one? He pretended he was a gladiator or something, yeah. didn't he? I remember that. My name is Gladiator. I'm the ass, the middle finger or something, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm the master of the middle finger. As you can see, that's in there. That's three disc set. Disc number three features the Hall of Fame. If I remember, let's pull out the Emily Sleeve. As you can see the ending sleeve there. Uh, WrestleMania, yeah, this three features the Hall of Fame. That's the first time the Hall of Fame was featured on DVD. Was it preview inductees of Cowboy Bob Orton, Nikolai Volkov, The Iron Sheik, Paul Andoff, Jimmy Hart, Ronnie Ryan Piper and Hulk Hogan? Yeah, that's when Hulk Hogan was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2005. As you can see, it says it says on there, WrestleMania goes Hollywood, and those parodies were really quite funny. <laughs> well, there are you those on the actual feature, the disc or anything? Yeah, on uh, disc. Yeah, disc number. Did you just get the sleeve out again? Let's do that. Do, 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 rest, disc number two. Here we go. WrestleMania Twenty One parody trailers. Do you remember when? Uh, um, oh, what was his name? I can't remember now going back now you know what I mean he, he had a, like a beard I didn't mean Eugene. Think... Eugene yeah Eugene I remember old Eugene he played the Forrest Gump Forrest yeah Gump parody. Uh, Braveheart parody that was done by uh, Ric Flair and Triple H yeah remember that? a few good men parody I think that was done I can't remember it's just so long ago I oh, know they done one Harry Met Sally didn't they as well yeah, that was Kurt Angle and uh wasn't the same, no. Um, well, she's in TNA now as a ring announcer. I can't remember. So long ago. Uh, like I said, we've done a gladiator with Stone Cold. Ta Taxi Driver parody. That was with uh, Booker T, I forget. René Di Guerrero was on that. Gladiator parody, as we just said, that was with Stone Cold. And uh, Basic Instinct parody. Do you remember that one? Chris mm -hmm. okay. I think yeah. It, I think it was, uh, oh, what's her name? Oh, Stacey Keebler played the... Oh, I remember, yeah. yeah. There was two wrestlers in the basement. There was, uh, there was two of them. Preston Wonder... was involved in that mm. one as well. Uh, Pulp Fiction parody. I think that one was with Booker T, if I remember. Uh, got the Dirty Harry parody. I know Undertaker was on that one. And then When Harry Met Sally parody. Yeah, that was good. Mm. And, uh, do, 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 uh, yeah, that's it. WrestleMania 21. <laughs> yeah. Right, WrestleMania 22 now. This one is a HMV exclusive limited edition with free mini event poster set. As you can see, this one's got a, a loose sleeve cover in it. As you can see, WrestleMania 22. Not really as much fancy as that, is it? It's not, is it? <laughs> Just WrestleMania 22 logo on it. Uh, get the thing out. There you go. 
as you pull out the sleeve, yeah, I've got the uh, images on it. It's been a long time since I looked at these. And uh, I don't know if Cheryl remembers the Boggy Man. Oh, don't yeah. you just make me sick when he's kind of all the, but like he's have all the worms, worms kind of out of his mouth. <laughs> I know it's probably getting sort of sketchy, but you just make me feel sick. There you go. As you can see, this is the poster for WrestleMania 22. Used to have that song, used to go big time. <laughs> Who's that on the poster? Look at Booker T and John Cena. I thought it looked like a young John Cena. Yeah. This is before WrestleMania took to the big arenas. This is, I think, this was one of the last, last ones before they took to the big arenas every year. And as you can see, there's the in the sleeve. WrestleMania 22, and this also features the Hall of Fame as well. And this was headed off by Bret Hitman Hart when he first returned back. See, the Hall of Fame this time where. That was four years before Brett decided to come back on that was it? day in 2010. Well, you Brett Hitman Hart, Eddie Guerrero, Mean Gene Oakley, Tony Atlas, Sensational Sherry. We're in, the as well, we? We're in the refrigerator, Perry. Yeah, he was like a big, big guy. He was a, he was a NFL football player. And Vern Gage and the Blackjacks. I can't yeah. remember those. Um, they, those a couple of those are for my time, but yeah. As you can see, there's the Hall of Fame bit at the back there. That's on disc three. And let me show you the discs. There's Rey Mysterio there. And John Cena there. And there's the disc there. That's WrestleMania 22. 23. You remember this one now? This one involves our, what shall I say, America's now new president, Donald Trump. This one was another good one from Silver Vision. Look. In a tin, couldn't you can't. It is a tin. You can't say it's a steel book, can you? Really? This one is a, it. Includes three discs and a bonus sensor type. I don't know if this one contains it because I remember I bought this one off eBay. And as you can tell, when I bought it off eBay, it's got a bit of a dent in it there. As you can see, sure. If you uh, run your hands across that, it's... embossed like my Disney steel books. Yeah. And as you can see, there's a back there with uh, Bobby Lashley. Batista and John Cena. John Cena looks totally different there now on what he does today. He does, doesn't he? As you can see, you open it up. As you can see, it's like a tin, isn't it? It's like a tin, yeah. Oh no, is that, is that the hair versus hair match? Yeah. That's good though, it's like a separate tin there. I'll tell you, Stone Cold Steve Austin can honestly say he's the only one who ever put a stun on the American president. <laughs> As you can see, the hair versus hair there. You've got Batista and Undertaker. This is where Undertaker won the title. And Shawn Michaels and John Cena. <coughs> WrestleMania 23, this one took place back at the Hoosier Dome, was it? Or at the Astro Dome or the Silly Dome, I can't remember. <laughs> this one was where it returned back to the Hoosier Dome. As we open this up, we show we zoom into the back. You can see quite good, quite good artwork, isn't it? It's good artwork, isn't it? Is that a tables, ladders and chairs match I can see there? Yeah, the tables, ladders and chair matches were infamous at WrestleMania. Well, Edge Christian and Hard... It was Edge Christian, the Hardy Voice and the Dudley Voice, I remember right, wasn't it? Yeah. Some of them. There you go, as you can see. There's the sleeve. And if she wants to zoom in on that one. Some of the extras. Oh, so you've got, the, got all the countdown things in there as well. Like, all grown up. The fingerettes yeah, as well. I love those of this girl, and all grown up. No, oh yeah, I remember Stephanie used to have one as well, didn't she? Mm. Some of the features there. There's one thing I can say about WWE is that they never ever had plain artwork on their discs. No. It just looks quite fancy, doesn't it? It does. You do, <coughs> yeah, I said you saw my Disney ones, how um, they're pretty blue and boring. Yeah, and this one also features the Hall of Fame on disc three. And headed this one off was now the late Dusty Rhodes who passed away about a year or so ago now. That's WrestleMania 23 and we move straight on. Let's put this one back in its sleeve and put it back away. Right, WrestleMania 24 now. We have it on DVD and we have it on Blu-ray, yes. WrestleMania 20, 20, I can't even think. Oh, picked the wrong one up. That's the, that's the right one. WrestleMania 24 became the first ever Blu-ray release for WWE. Uh, as you can see, WrestleMania 24 there. Which one do you like better? Which one do you think more, more 
work went into. I like the be honest, I like the one with the tin. You can see that straight away, can't you? Yeah. You can see straight away either by looking at it, there's emboss here. Here yeah. all the embossing here and stuff. You see, there's the card, it's had better days of course. I think I bought this second hand, didn't I? Did you do? But the question is, are the extra features both the same on both discs? I know they used to be crafty. Yeah, they, yeah, they are, they were, yeah. But as you can tell, because it, cause it was a Blu-ray, it featured the whole event on one yeah. disc and the Hall of Fame on one disc. As you can tell, this is another tin. And this one does contain a sensor type, the other one didn't. But I think they look quite smart, they do, don't they, those? WrestleMania 24, uh, no, WrestleMania 15 image. No, WrestleMania 14 image, Sally. As you, see, as you can see them right in on that, it's Stone Cold and Shawn Michaels. Yeah. I think, they look, so I think they look quite smart, those. And uh, uh, this one featured uh, Floyd money grabbing Mayweather and the big show. And this will make Cheryl laugh. Look at that young CM Punk on that one with hair. Oh my, CM Punk with hair? Yeah. And Ric Flair. This was Ric Flair's last ever night of wrestling. See a big show on the, on the side as well. Yeah, and as you can tell, the artwork again. Look, artwork's up to scratch on that one. And uh, Cheryl wants to show you the in the sleeve. Yeah, in the <coughs> sleeve, have a look. Yeah, John Legend sings America the Beautiful. Least like, least like, least it give it credit because they do go into more detail in here, don't they? Like even all the backstage feature, um, interviews and stuff they used to do. I think the Hall of Fame is spread on two discs there, on it. Yeah, I think it worked. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, because you've got Hall of Fame, got right, six Eric, Jack and Jerry Briscoe, Gordon Soul, May mm -hmm. Young, mm -hmm. Eddie Graham, and Rocky Johnson. That's Rockstar, wasn't it? Yeah, that was from Rockstar, and uh, his granddad I think got inducted at the same time. Remember. Yeah, Rocky Johnson continued. Hi, Chief Pete. Pete Mybea, yeah. yeah, John Cena congratulates the 2008 Hall you of Fame. Look here. You can, can do, can't you? Can't, yeah. Can't yeah. We yeah. doesn't go by that now, does he? He goes under his proper name. Is that? Yeah. Where he goes at yeah. Dwayne He's Johnson. Dwayne now. Yeah. Right, as you can tell, because we just recently saw Baywatch. <laughs> I think it was more like a comedy version of Baywatch than it was the actual. You know, like the old days of Baywatch. Obviously, I like Baywatch because he rocks for most of his time with his top off. So I quite like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. All right, WrestleMania 24 there. That could go back in its tin. Because one thing I like about these tins is that they can... Easy fit back in again, yeah. Text the cardboard. Yeah, that's WrestleMania 24. Need to keep an eye on time because we're waiting for the kids to come home. WrestleMania 24 on Blu-ray now, as you can tell. What's fascinating about that? Bit boring, isn't it? <laughs> it's just as Blu-ray, and uh, they went to town and they, they did the artwork. But the thing you like about Blu-ray is that you've got the full event and Hall of Fame. And uh, I'll take this out. You've got some artwork underneath, and the inlay sleeves just about the same. And. That's WrestleMania 24, and let's move on to WrestleMania 25, which is that one. And the show was past that one. Yeah, WrestleMania 25, I've got it both again on DVD and Blu ray. But the reason why I've got it on DVD as well is because this one is a special release again from Silver Vision. But here, Mr. Day is a Silver Vision because that, this is the one that features a, it's got a book. Oh, the book! I remember get. I remember you getting so so. Yeah. yeah like, I remember when it's come out. I remember you were so excited because you had Silver Vision were doing a special edition. If I remember right, what is limited edition as well or something? Yes, I think it's got a limited edition number on it somewhere. It has somewhere on here, isn't it? Yeah. As you can okay. tell, it's just a history of WrestleMania, a history of WrestleMania booklet. I don't know what the bigger version is. Booklet somewhere. The book upstairs. You have actually, don't you? And as you can see, the. DVD release. There you go, I'll we'll open this up. As you can see, you've got Triple H and Randy Orton. Uh, John Cena, Big Show, and Edge. And then on the inside, you've got, as you say, the Hall of Fame there. 
This is the one that features Stone Cold Steve Austin. There you go, WrestleMania's 25th anniversary. And Joe wants to look at this league. What one? Oh, this one's with Nicole Schitt's. I think. I can't say her name, Nicole Schitt's I think the whole of rest, uh, Hall of Fame is on one disc now, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Mm. Extreme Rules match, Jeff Hardy versus Matt Hardy. That's when they split them up. Yeah. I don't think this has also got the WrestleMania highlights as well, hasn't it, this one? Yeah. Because didn't they, I think they went out to town. This was, this was WrestleMania 25. They went out to town on this one, didn't they? Yeah, this one was in Texas, this one. Yeah. They get yeah. the Hall of Fame same really go, yeah. And they get us on the Hall of Fame this time was. Okay, that's WrestleMania 25 on DVD. I don't, know if I, can remember, I don't know if I can remember half of those actually on here. Mm. Oh, yeah, so of course Steve Austin, he wasn't my pop one, was he? Roddy, Roddy, the Steamboat Dragon, with some of them on there. I can't remember what the rest of those on there. I saw Steve will remember all the rest of them on there, though. Yeah, that's WrestleMania 25 on DVD. Get this one back together. And now the Blu ray of WrestleMania 25, as you can tell, that's front and back. Just. For some reason, these look a lot slimmer to the new ones, what are they? For some apparent reason. They do, don't they? Like yeah, they do actually. Yeah, and uh, in here we've got two discs. We've got the Hall event on one disc and the Hall of Fame on the second disc. And it's virtually the same as the DVD, but in high definition. It just makes you wonder ever will they ever bring out a 4K release? Oh my, it makes you wonder. Yeah. Is the network in 4K? Not yet. WrestleMania 24, the whole of WWE's not in 4K yet. Oh. Front and back. Right, WrestleMania 26, which is now I only bought on Blu-ray. This one is a three, three disc, is it? Yeah, three disc set. This was the time where Silver Vision started offering... Shall we take a look at that? And they offered you the previous Raw and Smackdown leading up to... Well, if it so won't run the right way, in the mm. The Raw and Smackdown leading up to WrestleMania. Fantasia's things. I heard the Fantasia. It's quite it's funny because it's got a 10-team tag team match. Like Mickey James, she's back in it now, isn't she? Yeah. What year was WrestleMania 26? It was... Have you got a date on there? That Maurice, she's she's in it now as well, isn't she? Back in yeah, it now. She's having a baba, isn't she? Well, we don't know if it's the storyline or if it's... 2010. Thing. 2010. So... Okay. I think Mickey James was in it before then as well, didn't she? Mm. Yeah. Look, this is where... You, oh, this is... No, don't forget you missed on this one. This is where you take her... Um, end of Shawn Michaels' career, remember? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. How can you forget about Shawn Michaels retiring? Yeah, so many going on this one. Street versus Korea. Yeah, this was the Undertaker's uh, time when he retired. Shawn Michaels. There you go. Wendy Richter. Oh, you have a special feature. Stu Hart, a couple Antonio, somebody, and Bob Ecker, George, Gorgeous George. So yeah, as you do have to admit, they do go out to town sometimes, they're actually features on these, don't they? And they used to with Silver Vision. They used to, but now, yeah. Yeah. There you go, there's I'll the Raw, the now. and there's the Smackdown. I'll show you the disc now. And the discs are WrestleMania 26 on one disc, Hall of Fame on second disc, and then two Raw, the Raw and Smackdown prior to WrestleMania 26. Did you like that? I thought that's good. Do you think that's a good idea when you used to do that? It was a good idea at the time, yeah. But things change, of course, it's so usual. They do now. Right. Now you want WrestleMania, WrestleMania 27, which features the no holes barred match between Undertaker and Triple H. Streak versus Streak on the line, and the Undertaker wins as per usual. Who's the person in the middle? The Rock. This is when The Rock hosted WrestleMania 27. This oh, is yeah. When he made his return. And this one also contains. Uh, let's put that back here. It's falling out of its case. Do, 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 do. Mm. This, this one is a one, two. Yeah, it's a three disc again. This one's a three disc set. You can see this is when they went to printing on the sleeve. 
or as you can see there, WrestleMania on one disc and the Hall of Fame and the preview of Raw and Smackdown there. Okay, this is where The Miz was the WWE champion. Okay. Yeah. So here's the Hall of Fame. It doesn't say who. It doesn't say. That's, it's hard because it doesn't say who the Hall of Fame popular on here, does it? Oh. Like it's a Shawn Michaels. Sure Mark's winning the Hall of Fame. Yeah, the Ray Warriors, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Sonny, mm -hmm. Bob Billet Armstrong, and Drew Carey. Oh, yeah, forget they got a comedy win type thing, haven't they, in the Hall of Fame? A celebrity win. Yeah. One thing I've noticed though with these dev with the WWE ones, they're actually region locked, aren't they? Yeah, always region B, and that's WrestleMania 27. Right, next up, WrestleMania 28. We're going to get through the rest of these pretty quick. Uh, this was uh, Once in a Lifetime where John Cena faced The Rock. And they had that, what was it, Hell in the Cell match? Yeah, end of, the, end of an era match between Triple H and The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels as a referee. And this one is two discs, as you can see, the event on one and the Hall of Fame on the second one. And as you can tell, the printing on the inside, so Silver Vision did start going that way towards the end. And uh, Hall of Fame features Edge. Uh, this was this was got to be around the time when Edge finally packed up. Edge, Mike Tyson, the Four Horsemen, Yokozuna, Ron Simmons, and Mill Masters. Edge didn't want to retire, they did his own because he had that. He had that injury, didn't he? Was it to his head or something, wasn't it? Well, if he wrestled anymore, he wouldn't have been, been here today, would he? No, basically, no. A bit like um, Daniel Bryan, isn't it? That's the problem, it's probably because they take some of knocks and bumps to the head. Yeah, and then WrestleMania 29, this was uh, the Rock. return match of Rock and Cena again. And this also features Triple H versus Brock Lesnar, uh, Undertaker versus CM Punk. And the Hall of Fame features Bruno San Martino, Mick Foley, Bob Backlund, Trish Stratus, Donald Trump, and Booker T. Mm -hmm. So the American president's in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> That's funny, that is, isn't it? And, and we started to go a bit plain here with this release. Is that still is that Fremantle? This is Fremantle now. Yeah. In WrestleMania 29. As you can see, it's looking a bit like Disney release, isn't it? <laughs> And as you can tell, the information's on the sleeve, which is just silly, especially when you've got... Yeah, they, they go ahead and put this in there. Exactly. They go ahead and print. Tell on me, there. What, what is on there should be in there. It and should the, be. The sleeve should be on the inside. It should be. At the end of the day, these films are, you know, they weren't that great. They are just, like, made for DVD films, weren't they? Like TV movies, the like thing. The only WWE films I remember what were good were The Chaperone. Legendary. What, what other one? No Hold Bard? I don't know. Do you remember Suburban Commando? Yeah, but that was a proper Mr. Nanny? Yeah. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa will save the rock. Lisa Drain Johnson, he has actually gone into proper, proper movies. Only, not, like, not like the WWE movies, films, whatever they call them now. Right, and then we go to 30 years of the making with WrestleMania 30. As you can see, it's just we've got just a simple DVD. Right, same sleeves, same thing. And then... Fremantle started to go back to the old way with the old look, look Daniel Bryan. It's quite nice with Daniel Bryan there. That is, isn't it? And then Hulk Hogan, Rock and Stone Cold when they had that mother's meeting at the start of WrestleMania 30. And uh, Triple H when he was became the King of Kings. And uh, there you go. This one has got an only sleeve. Look. 30th anniversary of WrestleMania. I think for them was probably because they went all out because it was the 30th anniversary probably, didn't they? Yeah. Okay, so back. As Cheryl looks at the DVD, you can see the you've got artwork behind these discs. Who remembers New Age Outlaws, eh? Yeah. The Shield! You can't forget the Shield with Raymond Reigns and um, mm. Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Yeah. And then if you look at the disc, look, you can see you've got artwork behind. Mm. And, it, and that Hall of Fame event features Lita and Paul Bearer, Jake the Snake, Razor Ramon, The Ultimate Warrior. Oh, The Ultimate Warrior. This was this was a sad one in theory, really. That was. Who would have thought, like, 24 mm. hours after this, he was in a... Do you have a heart attack or something? I think. I can't remember. And that's WrestleMania 30. And also this WrestleMania 30 featured... Uh, oh, 
Connor. Do you remember Connor? Yeah. Who Daniel Bryan looked up to, sat in the front row. Exactly, bless and him. He also passed away as well. That's why they do that Connor's Cure thing, don't they? Now do yeah. WWE. That's one thing I like about WWE. They always help them. Um, they do it, a lot of stuff for charity. They do, don't they? Make yeah. a wish. I know, I know. I don't like John Cena, but at least he does do a lot for Make a Wish. Really dirty. Really like his house, though. Oh yeah, I like his house. His house is nice. Right. And what? What want to clean it though? Quickly, thirty-one. This was where Seth Rollins jumped in at the end to win the WWE title. As you can see, the artwork is totally different to the sleeve because this is a Sainsbury's exclusive sleeve artwork. As you can see, it's much better like that when you get two different separate sleeve releases like that. It is, isn't it? And we look again. We've got Triple H playing his usual subject. Uh, Seth Rollins there when he won the won the title. There you go, sleeve again. Put the sleeve up for you. And this one features. Oh, how far you get the right way around? Savage as the main dealy with Hall of Fame. Uh, Rikishi, uh, Kevin Nash, uh, Alundra Blaze, uh, even Arnold Schwarzenegger's in there, the Bushwhackers. There you go. That's even got the artwork behind the disc. That's WrestleMania 31. What's that one? I'll show you that again. There we go. WrestleMania 31. And yeah, right. WrestleMania 32, which is I'm getting lost here now. That's this year. That's last year. Yeah, WrestleMania 32 is the only release I've got of it. It's a steel book release on Blu-ray. As you can see, it featured Shane McMahon and the Undertaker. Do you remember when Shane McMahon jumped off the cell? I remember that. Yeah, and Shane McMahon took risks. Yeah. Uh, as you go to this set. With the whole event on one desk and the Hall of Fame, which was headed up by Sting. And it's quite a nice, nice still book, really. Very rare you see those. I don't know if that's a special release for any company, but that's WrestleMania 32. Okay. WrestleMania 33, I have two releases of this year's event. One's the same as this release. And one is per normal. There you go. That's the front and the backs. I think because you wanted the slip cover, didn't you, really? Yeah, that's WrestleMania, as you can tell. Just a bit different slip cover. And then finally, we have some odd releases. WrestleMania 3. This is a special uh, collector's championship edition. The history of WrestleMania is 1 to 9. This is an old VHS release, which has got released to DVD and last Blu-ray which is good true story of Wrestlemania you like that one don't you yeah and that really does go better this one is way better than the Raw Rumble one that recently came out because this one goes into more detail not being nasty this is Vince McMahon's baby Wrestlemania and this is more interesting than the Rumble one okay guys thanks for watching this long video about Wrestlemania collection we'll see you soon bye yeah. Oh, 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 oh,